All right, hello everybody. I'm Barbara Cockrell, and I um, want to make some calls with you tonight, but I wanted to say something first. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you're on the Meet the Mentors, when I first started, I used to hate this. So I realized something's got to change, and it's all in your attitude. It's all in your thoughts. So what I did is embrace this. So when I go into making the calls, I figure one of three things is going to happen. I want to go in with enthusiasm. I want to change my mental. Um, they know when you're excited. They know when you're scared. So you want to go into this with positive thoughts, positive intentions. And so I go into it thinking I'm going to get a deal. So I um, want to exhaust every effort there is in getting the deal. The second thing that I want to do is add some value. Maybe I leave them with something of value. I help in some way. I solve the problem. You'd be surprised. It's in the follow-up. You go back and you follow up. They're going to remember that you're helpful. They're going to remember because sellers want to do business with people they know, like, and trust. And the third thing is, is I figured this is a big part of my life. Actually, it's what we do every day. So you want to enjoy that. So the third thing that I do is I go in expecting that something good's going to come out of it. I might meet somebody super interesting. He could be my next private lender. You never know. It could be somebody that has a uh, local that, uh, who knows, that might be a great connection. And, you know, also sometimes you just talk to people and they've got a bad situation going on. It kind of makes you feel better for, about yourself. So you go into this expecting something good to come out of it. So we're going to jump in now and make some calls. So the All right, let's see. The next one is in Dunal uh, Dundon, Florida. Let's see. And this is for Irina is the student and they're asking 525. Hey, this is Barbara. I was calling about your house for sale on Cordoba. We're, I'm interested in buying it. Is it still available? Where did you find the number? Where did I find the number? Yeah. Um, the number is out of uh, whatever, Zillow and so like, like this for a couple months. Oh, did you was, take it off the market? I did. I did. Oh. I'm just uh, basically under contract. Oh, so you're under contract right now, right? Right. Okay. Right. When are you expecting to close? Uh, November 1st. Wow, that's a long time out. Um, is, uh, I know it is. So is the, seller, is the buyer having difficulty getting a loan or getting it closed? or? Um, no, no. We just, we're just remodeling the house, and it's uh, uh, we saw it as a remodel. Oh, okay. So you're pretty confident it's going to close November 1st? I guess. I mean, they, uh, they got a survey and they get deposit. I guess so. Okay. Well, um, so is this a, this is a buyer that's getting finance, right? Uh, honestly, I don't know. Okay. Well, is this Larry? I, I know that they, uh, if I have any problems, I just going to put it on MLS and sell it. So I don't think I'm going to have a problem. Okay. Well, listen, do you mind if I follow up with you, um, I don't know, in, end of September or middle of September and see how things are going? Or October? Sorry, the middle of October and see how things middle are going at that time? That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Sounds sure. good. Thanks, Larry. Okay, so you say you have somebody who might have interest in it? Absolutely. I'm a buyer. I'm interested in buying it myself, so definitely. Are you a realtor and a buyer? Okay. I'm a buyer, yes. I'm interested in buying. Okay. All right. All right. I'll follow up with you, Larry. Thank you. All right. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Okay, guys, the reason I asked when it's closing, he go. I said, do you think they're going to close? I guess. I don't know how much he did his homework to see if this buyer's qualified, um, you know, any proof of funds or anything like that. So you never know when it's for sale by owner like that. So you did, that one's definitely worth following up on before it doesn't sell and you list it with the realtor. Um, all right. So where are we? We're in Fort Myers, Florida. And this is for Daniel. So let's see, two, three, nine. Thank you. 
oh, she's a realtor selling and interested in knowing the terms. This ought to be interesting. Hello. Hey, this is Barbara. I was calling because I was interested in buying your house on uh, Raven's Roost. Is it still for sale? I'm going to rent it. I've already got a, a renter. Oh, is this Kathy? Yes, it is. Who's this? Oh, uh, this is Barbara. Actually, uh, you had talked to our assistant uh, a few weeks ago, and um, I guess my partner who didn't call you back yet. But are you, so let me ask you something. Are you yeah. renting because you didn't sell it? Are you still interested in selling it? Or are you already under a rental contract? Yeah, we're under a rental. It's a friend. And so um, we're, we're having to help her out. She, uh, she had lived in another place. And then the person who owned it said that they were going to come back. And so she didn't have a place. Oh, so a okay. And so um, I appreciate it. But... Uh, She's gonna. She's already um, done all the work, and, and uh, she's moving in this month. Okay. Well, Kathy, is she gonna stay there a full year, or just for a few months, or what were you thinking? Um, she was. She was at her place for four years, and then those people decided to come back. So she she lives here. You know, she we look for you know long term. Oh, so you're gonna rent it long term? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. All right, darling. Thank you for calling. You're Bye. welcome. Have a great one. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. So um, you you don't give up. That's another thing. So she said she's going to rent it. Well, going to rent it and rent it could be two different things. So if she had it on the market for sale, obviously she wanted to sell and now she wants to rent it. So you just got to kind of get in her head. Well, maybe she will go ahead and sell now that I'm here and I'm a buyer or maybe she'll do a lease with an option to buy instead of just renting it. So you always want to ask. So we got this guy here in Jersey, right next door to New York. Refused to share the mortgage information. That always makes it fun, but it's asking 950. Hello. Yes, hello. I'm trying to reach Dan, please. Dan. Hey, Dan, how you doing? My name is Tony. I'm calling about that house you're selling in Warren on uh, Plainfield Avenue. Is it still available? Yep. Okay. Okay. Great. Hey, um, I understand you spoke with my assistant. They called you a few days ago, asked you a whole bunch of crazy questions about the house. And, uh, mind if I just verify the information I have in front of me here? Yeah. Okay. Great. Great. So I see it's a five bed, uh, two and a half bath house, 42, 16 square feet, a little over three acres. House looks like it's in excellent shape. And you're currently asking about, uh, 950 for the house. Is all that correct? That's correct. Okay. Great. Great. So I don't have to fire my assistant here today. That's a beautiful thing. All right. So uh, my, I was also told that if, if we can get things worked out between us, if I can give you a good price for your house, that uh, you would be open to the possibility of taking payments for a little while until we can get you cashed out. Is that correct? No, you know, no, no. Uh, I, I already had this conversation with one of your guys on Sunday. Uh huh. And I'm, I, I'm not, you know, if you're either going to buy the house or you're not going to buy the house. Oh, okay, so if we can net you more by selling to us, you wouldn't want to do that. Oh well, offer me the the uh, market value, and I'll sell it to you. Well, that's uh, easy. I can pay you more, but I don't know if I can get. I might be able to pay you full market value if uh, if we can get this worked out. What kind okay. of what kind of shape is the house in there, Dan? It's brand new. I just built it last year. Oh, Perfect. okay, okay, great, great. And uh, you're are you you're living in it now, right? It's not vacant or anything. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay, so what do you think it would appraise for right now? It appraised uh, a year and a half ago when I got it done at nine oh five. Uh huh. The um, my mortgage is from, and I guess it's probably a million fifty now, a little higher. Um, uh, you you guess? Yeah, I mean, I'm the cheapest new home in Warren by half a million. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> So if we can give you a price that's at least close to that, um, well, let me ask you, how, how, what's your timeline looking like? How soon are you looking to move? Uh, I'd like to, you know, spring. That's what, that's what I put it up for is to be able to move by, you know, latest May or June. Okay. Got you. That's not a problem for us. We can definitely work with that timeline. Um, are you going to... Um, buy another house uh in that time do you need to get this one sold in order to buy the next house or no 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 i'm building a new home down the road okay 
Would this would the sale of this house be a uh, contingency for buying that no. next one? Okay. No. Okay. So no. so it's not like you're 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 got to have all the money or anything like this, but you. Um, no, no, no. Okay. Excellent. No. Excellent. Doesn't matter. So if we can give you a good price, that's um that's more reasonable. Well, wh what do you think the lease you could take for the house would be if we work this out together? <laughs> Isn't that the whole question? Yes. <laughs> I should let you tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, do, do you have anything in mind? Give me an offer. I, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna go back and forth. Here. If you have an offer, give me an offer, and I'll respond to it. Okay, okay. We might be able to work something out here. Um, I, I, I got. I don't know how much I can offer right now until I really take a look at the place. But as long as I know that you have some flexibility, then we can, uh, you know, see what we can possibly work out. If you were to tell me the only way you want to sell is to get all your cash at closing and full price, I'd say, hey, good luck. I'm not your Huckleberry, yeah. But if you have some flexibility, yeah. we we can work out a good price that uh, that's good for both of us. Um, it's yeah. I mean that, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. So if we give you a good full price, maybe even full retail, I don't know. Uh, if we take care of all the closing costs, uh, we usually buy with nothing down. Okay. 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 And um, what uh, do you have a do you have an existing mortgage on the property, or do you own a free and clear? No, I have an existing mortgage. Okay, and um, what we normally do is we take over your payments, make the make the monthly payments, taxes, insurance, any association dues, take full care of the property, especially if we're, of course, if we're buying it. Uh, about how much is your is your monthly payment on that? Do you know? No, no, I'm not. I'm not giving out information like that. First off, you can find that information. Yeah, yeah. So, so you can do your homework. And the other thing of is, course. you know, if you want to make me an offer, make me an offer, but it's, it has nothing to do with what I know. On a property. Okay. Well, what we normally do uh, for nice, beautiful houses that we we do this with, we we take over payments and we pay it until uh, until we get everything paid off in full and get you cashed out. So, yeah. if that's if that's something that we could do or work out a monthly payment that works for both of us, that would be great. Um, yeah, make, it, make an offer. I, I can't do anything if you don't make an offer. It just it has nothing to do with the mortgage. Right. Whether my mortgage is a hundred grand or a million, really, that makes no difference. Okay. Okay. Well, it sounds to me like you have some flexibility and you have some flexibility for time as well. So what I'm going to do is I have my local yeah. partner. His name is, uh, his name is John. He's local to you. I'm in Virginia. John's over there close to you. So I'm going to, I'm going to be able to follow up with him and we're going to see what we can possibly do to get out there to take a look at the house. I can tell you got a, a lot going on behind you there. So I don't want to take up any more of your time this evening, but, uh, yeah. Well, the other thing too is I spoke to a John on Sunday. That was probably him. And he, uh, yeah, so he he just he just completely balked at not me not giving up my mortgage information. Okay, which is a little silly. Yeah, which is just absolutely silly. So you can tell him that for me that I think he's silly because <laughs> that's all public record. Yeah. So like, if you're not going to even open up, it's free. You literally can do it online if you wanted to. Sure, we're just so, hoping you could save us some time. Um, yeah, we're we're making yeah, some offers here. So. Just, okay. Yeah, just just do, do the homework. I mean, listen, I know what you guys are doing. I'm not. I'm not against it. Um, if you guys want to go down that road and try to market this and make some money that way, God bless you. It's all business. Sure. I just want to get my money out of it. So, okay. I'm, right. Of course. Out of curiosity, uh, how, how much are you looking to get out of this? If you don't mind me asking, putting the cards on the table. If I got nine fifty today, and I think it's worth more than that, okay. I placed at nine fifty, so I'd sell it. I right. got two offers within three days of of uh, putting it up on Zillow. I took it off, it was for sale by owner. I took it off only because I wasn't ready to move. The lady, there's two ladies that were like, can we move in on Saturday? I was like, no, I got my sandwich here. Huh. So I took, I put it, that's pending. If you look on Zillow now, it's pending. Okay. And uh, I was just gonna get myself ready to move out and then list it because I think it's gonna sell in, in a matter of, you know, probably a week, I was thinking. Mm. I'm telling you, I'm a hundred thousand. I'm a hundred thousand. No, I'm five hundred thousand less than the cheapest new home. Hmm. Why? Why haven't you listed already? If that's what you want to do. Well, I'm gonna. It is listed. That's how you found out about it. Oh, forgive me. Forgive me. I was just told about this and asked to give you a call. Yeah, so no, no, okay. Ah. Uh -huh. No, go to Zillow. Go to Zillow. Just look up the address and go to Zillow. You'll see. Sure. Okay. Okay. Well, tell you what. I'm gonna follow up. With John, that's my look. Like I said, my local partner there, and uh, we'll see what we can do with this. Hopefully, we can get uh, do some business here, Dan. I appreciate your time, my friend.
No problem. Okay. Bye bye. I mean, what else are we going to do with this house here, this situation? I'm not going to, like, start splitting hairs and coming up with numbers and offers like that just yet. I think we need to have further conversations with this guy. He's a put-the-cards-on-the-table kind of person, so we'll need to follow up with John and see what we can do with the local guy here. Okay?